Nobody does fall better than Whole Foods Market. The Spice Up Autumn event is happening now. Save on Animal Welfare Certified Beef Top Sirloin Steak, perfect with gravy for a comforting meal. Find savings on organic honey crisp apples and organic pears. Then visit the bakery department for their limited time pumpkin butter chai cake. And while you can, level up your fridge with fall wine, beers, and ciders. Spice up autumn at Whole Foods Market. Terms apply. Must be 21 plus. Please drink responsibly. I'm Josh Klein. And I'm Elise Hugh. We host a podcast from Accenture called Built for Change. Every part of every business is being reinvented right now. That means companies are facing brand new pressures to use fast evolving technologies and address shifting consumer expectations. But with big changes come even bigger opportunities. We've talked with leaders from every corner of the business world to learn how they're harnessing change to totally reinvent their companies. And how you can do it too. Subscribe to Built for Change now so you don't miss an episode. This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 1928. Moai. This tradition is why Okinawan people live longer, better. By Aslan Leonard with BlueZones.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Sunday bonus episode of Optimal Relationships Daily. I'm Greg Audino, your host of the show. But like I do in every Sunday bonus episode, I'm going to be featuring an old episode from another show in our network, that I think crosses over with relationship building and that you would enjoy. Today's I'm really excited for. It comes from Optimal Health Daily, and it's a post all about the value of community and friendship and how they directly contribute to a longer and healthier life. So let's hear Dr. Neil narrate this one as I turn it over to him and optimize your life. Moai. This tradition is why Okinawan people live longer and better by Ashlyn Leonard with BlueZones.com Moai, Japan Noun, definition one, a group of lifelong friends. Definition two, a social support group that forms in order to provide varying support from social, financial, health, or spiritual interests. Elders in Okinawa, Japan one of the original Blue Zones longevity hotspots, live extraordinarily better and longer lives than almost anyone else in the world. Moai, one of their longevity traditions, are social support groups that start in childhood and extend into the 100s. The term originated hundreds of years ago as a means of a village's financial support system. Originally, Moais were formed to pool the resources of an entire village for projects or public works. If an individual needed capital to buy land or take care of an emergency, the only way was to pool money locally. Today, the idea has expanded to become more of a social support network, a cultural tradition for built-in companionship. In small neighborhoods across Okinawa, friends meet for a common purpose, sometimes daily, and sometimes a couple of days per week to gossip, experience life, and to share advice and even financial assistance when needed. They call these groups their moai. Traditionally, groups of about five young children were paired together, and it's then that they made a commitment to each other for life. As their second family, they would meet regularly with their moai for both work and play and to pool resources. Some moais have lasted over 90 years, One of the women Dan Butner and Blue Zones researchers had the pleasures of meeting in Okinawa was Klazuko Mana, who at 77 years old was the youngest of her moai. The collective age of the group was over 450. She stressed that it isn't just about gossip and chatter. It's deep support and respect for each other. Each member knows that her friends count on her as much as she counts on her friends. If you get sick, or spouse dies, or if you run out of money, we know someone will step in and help. It's much easier to go through life knowing there is a safety net. Even today, about half of Okinawans participate in a moai, and many are in more than one. During his research and explorations on Okinawa, Dan Butner spoke to dozens of Okinawan nonogenarians and centenarians about the role of moai in their life. He spent time with Gosei Shinzata, who was still spry, energetic, and cooked and gardened daily at 104 years old. He describes her daily routine in the Blue Zone solution. Quote, In the cool hours of the day, she worked in her gardens. At lunch, 
she mixed homemade miso into a saucepan of water. She spooned in fresh carrots, radishes, shiitake mushrooms, and tofu, and let it heat. Meanwhile, she moved up and down the kitchen, wiping clean the counters, sink, and even the window. When it was ready, she poured her warmed soup into a bowl, gazed at it for a few moments, and murmured, Hara Hachibu. This Confucian adage, intoned like a prayer before every meal, reminded her to stop eating when she was 80% full. After lunch, she read comic books or watched a baseball game on television and napped. Neighbors stopped by every afternoon, and a couple of days a week, her moai, four women who, together with Shinzato, had, at a young age, committed to one another for life, stopped by for mugwort tea and conversation. Whenever things had gotten rough in Shinzato's life, when she'd run short of cash, or when her husband had died 46 years ago, she'd counted on her moai and the Okinawan sense of social obligation, yumaru, to support her. Her friends had relied on a lifetime of Shinzato's support in return. End quote. It's much easier to go through life knowing there is a safety net. Professor Lisa Berkman of Harvard University is an expert in social connectedness and longevity. One of her studies looked into the connection between marital status, ties with friends and relatives, club membership, level of volunteerism, and greater longevity. The study found that the type of connection was irrelevant. Whether it was a spousal relationship or a tight-knit friend group, all that mattered was the bond the group shared. Research shows that your social connections can have long-term impacts on your health and happiness. You mimic the habits of your three closest friends. If you share similar values, healthy habits, and life goals, then you're likely to, one, experience less stress. Loneliness can decrease your life expectancy by eight years. In Okinawa, members of a moai experience the stress-shedding security of knowing that there is always someone there for them. Two, be happier. With each happy friend you add to your network, you increase your happiness by 15%. Happiness is contagious. And three, live longer. Older people without close friends are more likely to develop chronic diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, and depression when compared to their counterparts. They're also at a higher risk for suffering from a stroke. Okinawan women, on average, live eight years longer than American women. Their moai is likely an important component of their long lives. In all five Blue Zones cultures, social connectedness is ingrained into the culture. While Okinawans have moais, Sardinians meet with friends each evening for happy hours, and Adventists host weekly meals with their congregations. By finding the right tribe, you'll not only add years to your life, but you'll enjoy your time here just a little more. You just listened to the post titled, Moai. This tradition is why Okinawan people live longer and better. By Ashlyn Leonard with BlueZones.com. Nobody does fall better than Whole Foods Market. The Spice Up Autumn event is happening now. Save on Animal Welfare Certified Beef Top Sirloin Steak, perfect with gravy for a comforting meal. Find savings on organic honey crisp apples and organic pears. Then visit the bakery department for their limited time pumpkin butter chai cake. And while you can, level up your fridge with fall wine, beers, and ciders. Spice up autumn at Whole Foods Market. Terms apply. Must be 21 plus. Please drink responsibly. I'm Josh Klein. And I'm Elise Hugh. We host a podcast from Accenture called Built for Change. Every part of every business is being reinvented right now. That means companies are facing brand new pressures to use fast evolving technologies and address shifting consumer expectations. But with big changes come even bigger opportunities. We've talked with leaders from every corner of the business world to learn how they're harnessing change to totally reinvent their companies. And how you can do it too. Subscribe to Built for Change now so you don't miss an episode. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. First, I should mention that this idea of the importance of social support and positive health outcomes isn't unique to the Blue Zones book. There are many, many published studies that have shown that having a close social network is important for our health, and the positive effects seem to go deeper than we once thought. We're finding that positive social support influences our DNA. Researchers found that when we form strong, positive connections with others, 
our DNA gets protected from damage. Now, follow along with me here. Imagine the shoelaces on your feet right now represent strands of DNA. Now, most shoelaces have those little plastic caps on the end that protect the ends of the shoelaces from getting damaged. Well, our DNA actually has something similar on the end of their strands to protect them from getting damaged. These little caps on the end of our DNA strands that protect them are called telomeres. Now, again, these telomeres protect our DNA from getting damaged, but over time, these telomeres can get damaged themselves. So just like the plastic ends of our shoelaces get worn down over time, telomeres can get worn down over time, which leads our DNA susceptible to getting damaged. But scientists have learned that we can prolong the life of these telomeres, these DNA protectors. How? Can you guess? Having a strong, positive social support system. Now, a strong social support system doesn't mean having 743 friends on Facebook or thousands of Instagram followers. Instead, it's having a network of friends and family that you can turn to for support. Support without judgment. Support that provides unconditional love. Basically, finding your Moai. All right, that'll do it for the Monday episode. I hope you have a great start to your week and I'll be back here tomorrow as usual where your optimal life awaits.